just wonderful stuff. Got a little too hot. You don't want uh, the wax so hot that it sticks to your hands like this. It's not hot, painful hot. It's just too soft. And uh, getting a very, very late start today because of the fact that uh, I had to do another job today. Um, I was filming a, a person's house uh, for their father and because uh, he's 90 years old, can't get up to uh, Montana to see the house and uh, he had just, uh, she and he had just finished building this thing and uh, expanding on their house and doing a bunch of stuff and, and they wanted their dad to see it and, and uh, he used to live up here years ago but he's in his 90s and uh, he's getting to that age where he just ain't going to be able to travel. I'm going to be that way in a couple of years. <laughs> anyway, now, I'm uh, going to, uh, I got some parch, uh, parchment paper from uh, the grocery store. I'm going to see how this goes. And see if I can use it to roll up these feathers with. And I found my ink roller, which is a great way of rolling stuff out. Okay, that's... It's even too soft to pick up off of there. Oh, crap. And it's sticking to that paper. I'm going to have to redo this. Be right back. All right, I think I got it fixed now. Get these wires out of the way. Ah. All right, I'm going to roll out the clay or the wax. I mean, well, this is Victory Brown wax, and it ha doesn't have any of the wax from that clay, that wax that I had molded. And the reason for that is because that wax just felt different, and it may be a mixture of several different uh, waxes. But it just got hard so fast I couldn't do anything with it. And Victory Brown is a different type of wax. So anyway, I'm just uh, rolling out the clay while it's still soft. Or the wax. God, you know, come on, Dave. It's not clay. It's wax. And let's see if this comes up any better. Oh, it does. Much better. All right, I'm just going to make blank after blank after blank. Um, in fact, I better get me someplace to put all these blanks. I'm going to show you what I came across. I've been making, uh, I'm up to 17 feathers. This will be the 18th. And about halfway through all this, I figured out how to do it. First, got to clean off the board that you're going to roll your wax on. And... Uh, Clean off the edge of your scraper because you're going to need that clean. I've got the, the wax where it's warm. It's not hot. It's just warm enough for me to press it in my hands, which, you know, you get strong hands after a while. And then you just roll it out on your board. It's, it's warm enough to roll, but it doesn't leave as much of itself back on the board. This wax doesn't. And, uh, so now I put it right there. I get my roller and my parchment paper. And I just start rolling. I worked real hard to try to get the uh, wax the same height as the uh, boards, but I found out that the best way to do it is you take a scraper that's just the same width as the uh, gap so that it doesn't go down into the gap and you make sure you got the flat part of the uh, scraper against the wax and the, the part that goes down or that's been uh, ground down to a sharp point or edge up and then you just 
put the two edges of the uh, scraper on your your uh, two boards go like that you skim off the part that's too high and then you take your other scraper which is I've made the gap just big enough for this to go through and then you just start peeling the uh, wax off of the uh, bamboo board and you got a perfectly even thickness all the way through that and I've done that that's number 18 actually that's 19 number 19 and uh, and then every once in a while I take this uh, uh, Ronsonal uh, lighter fluid and I spray it onto the uh, board that keeps the board lubricated so the wax won't get stuck on it and I'm like I said I'm using a bamboo board All right, I'm gonna get some more wax and do this again I'm going to finish out these 20 uh, feathers or blanks for feathers and uh, I'll take them home tonight it is probably about what time is it? About six o'clock in the evening. Not bad. But I'm going to take what I've got made home and let them stiffen up over the over the night, and come back uh, at my my house. I'll do it at my house, and I'll put together all these uh, feathers with the armatures and sculpting, and then that, that will leave me about twelve feathers I've got to make which won't take me long at all. I'll probably be done with feathers by Wednesday. And then I've got to uh, make sure that... Oops, see that's a little soft. That's why the wax is sticking. And then I'm just... Uh, take that. The roller. Roll it out. Key is to keep the edge clear so that uh, you don't catch the wax. And there we got a perfect blank feather. And uh, I'm leaving nothing behind but the wood. All right, I'll pick this up at the house. Uh, when I start making the feathers and uh, this should go pretty quick all right that'll be it uh, for today uh, sorry it's not much of a video but while I'm making feathers it's, it's pretty repetitive and all I'm doing is showing you the, the ability to do that and uh, I don't need to show you everything I do because then you'd go stare crazy I don't go stare crazy because I am doing it. All right, guys. Later.